Hello, today we are going to talk about the Knopix Linux operating system, one of the first Linux operating systems to be available as a live CD and one of the best known live CD Linux operating systems. We're um, inside the, the latest version of Knopix 9.3, booted as a live CD from a um, DVD. 4.3 gigabytes in size. It boots by default in this oper um, desktop environment, which is LXDE. This is the start menu. In the taskbar, we have um, Chromium and PC Man FM, which is the default file manager for this desktop environment. The operating system is um, Debian operating system plus a selection of um, Deb packages. Let's find a um, terminal in here. Is it console? Okay. So it's a Debian file system, has the package available. This is the list of packages that are available, installed by default. These are um, also some the packages by uh, the developer behind Knopix, Adriane, which are for text-to-speech, so for accessibility to visual impaired users. We'll read out loud the operating system. It has KD Plasma installed by default. It has LXDE desktop environment installed by default, GNOME desktop environment. It's quite a lot of KD software even the Chromium BSU game, the Chromium web browser and Firefox web browser, antivirus, clam, um, the wobbly window, window manager compiz, Emacs, um, a ton of fonts, CAD, GIMP, Recad. There's um, a LaTeX distribution, Text Live. Graph Vs for Dot. Many GNOME applications. IRC terminal client, CD burner, Java, additional Knopix packages. There's in the start menu a separate menu just for Knopix utilities, which we'll look into immediately. Are more KD applications. Libraries. Thousands of libraries packages. Linux kernel version 5.16.12 
I ran the wrong command line, should have been the package minus L and then pipe through the pager less, not through the pager more. There's LibreOffice, GIMP, Midnight Commander. MySQL, Nano, Apache, OBS Studio. Well, Python, QMU, Samba SMB server. Remina RDP client, networking security tools, such as Snort, and uh, Wireshark. the tight VNC viewer and server, VLC video player, Veeam Emacs, Emacs for LaTeX, TextLive, the LaTeX distribution, Tunar, the file manager from uh, XFCE. Timidity, which is for MIDI. Sound juicer, CD Reaper. Okay. So the person behind Knopix is Klaus Knopper. The first release was in the year 2000. I have used Knopix since the very first build. It was a compact disk, 700 megabytes. It booted straight from Live CD. Had uh, even then many desktop environments available out of the box, not only KD. A ton of software pre-installed, even with the limitation of 700 megabytes. Transparent on the fly decompression. Okay, and the latest version is 9.3, which is available just via the um, Linux magazine, print edition. 9.2 is in a similar situation. 9.1 is available from the Knopix mirrors. This is the official website, knopper.net. There's English and German versions of the website. In order to get to the mirrors for the Knopix 9.1, you go to download, choose one of the mirrors with HTTP DVD, and see which one is faster. The file that you're interested in is the largest one in here, which is this one for English and this one for German. Okay. There's interestingly 
a um, used to be a list of the packages that are installed so the output from the package minus l and looks like this this was the first time that i saw the output of the package minus l i didn't use debian at all previously to using knopix in the year 2001 knopix actually showed me debian and i started to admire debian the fact that so many deb packages could be installed and live side by side on the same uh, computer and uninstalling a random deb package will not break another deb package so everything was as long as you're just using the official debian repositories installing and uninstalling the packages is problem free which is something that i wanted okay what's the cheat codes when you boot the knopix iso it shows a boot loader boot manager where you can enter command line parameters such that uh, the operating system boots in a bit different way because by default this version 9.3 boots in a german language with a german keyboard so that's a, something you want to do when you boot you want to say no peaks or no peak 64 and then go lang minus and then english which is us you can see all of these by pressing F2 or F3 keys in the bootloader. So it's using the Debian repositories plus additional software so this comes from by uh, klaus knopper and also shown in here it's docker and then the electrum Bitcoin wallet. Okay, so a Debian plus with many packages, in, the packages installed from the official repositories of Debian plus additional software. Available both in German and English ISOs, and you can change the keyboard layout at boot time. Let's look back at the desktop that's offered by default. Let's look at the software that's available. So again, a ton of uh, KD software. You can recognize these applications by the K prefix. K Jots, Clipper Crusader, K Write. I'm not sure if there exists K, but there's K Write which is good enough. I've changed the keyboard to being English US in the bootloader. So again, there's Emacs, there's Compiz, next cloud desktop, wine wine has always been available in uh, available in knopix i remember one of my first times using wine was from the knopix uh, start menu recad 
tax marks key the educational software key geography choose map to use what do we do Africa. Let's see. Test yourself location of countries. Place countries on the map like this. How many questions? Okay. What's this? Congo. Where is Congo? Niger. Hard one. Sierra Leone. Not even one. Cote d'Ivoire. Botswana. Hard ones. Western Sahara. Ghana. Okay, what else do we have there? All of the KD games and many more. Even games that require 3D graphics acceleration. such as um, Chromium BSU. The speed of this thing was always really bad because uh, not enough uh, 3D hardware acceleration. skill, the worst skill possible. Whoa. Doesn't respect the mouse. But the speed is actually very great. It's just that it doesn't work with the mouse. Without the mouse, I do not know how to play this game. How do I exit? Quit. So the Knopix operating system for me was a uh, ISO that I could boot anywhere, including in libraries, when I did not have a computer of my own. And then I would... Uh, look through all of the thousands of graphical user interface applications, play all of the games and actually learn a ton about the graphical user interface applications in available in Linux. Frozen Bubble, yeah. This I used to play. We do it. All right.
like this. So I just explored all of the graphical user interface applications possible. Okay, Gold Runner, all of them. I'm not sure how I can make things visible. No clue how to play, but let's play. Wish the keyboard mode. Hmm. Okay, so we have the web browsers, Chromium and Firefox. LibreOffice, a ton of productivity software. There's LibreOffice. There's um, OBS Studio, uh, MIDI application. the TV viewer, media player VLC, video editor open shot, CD Reaper sound juicer, CD burner, CD DVD Reaper, Audacity for recording audio. Another movie player, MPV. This one from the command line. Let's see if we can play a YouTube video. MPV control shift B. It doesn't have YT DLP or YouTube DL. Okay, the Linux operating system is old, is from the end of 2022, so that's one and a half years ago. YT minus DLP was probably not a thing. At that point, the people were using YouTube minus DL. So there's not such a new selection of software. PC Man File Manager. Applications menu applications. Sting. So there's this um, directory, Knopix. There's a ton of symlinks. Let's see where they point to. Ls minus la slash. They point to slash union fs. We have midnight commander here. The username for the Linux user is Knopix. The home directory is in the expected directory slash home slash Knopix.
this is a special Linux kernel module named C loop, which stands for compressed loop de devices. So there's two of these mounted in slash knopix and slash knopix one from uh, the DVD. And then there's uh, slash unionfs of type AUFS. There's C groups because Docker is available. I created a virtual hard disk, but I'm not using it. So the CD ROM is slash dev slash SR0, 4.3 gigabytes mounted as slash media slash SR0 and slash mount minus system. There's a ZRAM 4 gigabyte swap. The C loop Linux kernel driver was maintained by Klaus Knopper is available as a deb package in uh, upstream Debian. Let's continue looking through the software that's available. So a ton of games, a more productivity software, DIA for um, diagramming, Blender for 3D, um, scanners, computer-aided design, GIMP for uh, Raster Graphics, GwenView, the KD file viewer for images, Inkscape editor for uh, scalable vector graphics, KRuler, a desktop ruler, which allows you to measure your graphical user interface. Let's see the taskbar, how tall it is, 36 pixels. Quit. LibreOffice, the entire office suit, uh, ocular PDF viewer, solid 3D, another CAD software. Scribus for creating newspapers. Desktop publisher. Xfig, the original graphical user interface software for painting diagrams and all sorts of um,
or sorts of figures. This is one of the original software that the KD manifesto was written against. So when the KD desktop was proposed to the world, it was in order to create software that's similar to what existed before, such as Xfig, but then change the software a bit such that all software has a main menu, all software has a Ctrl S shortcut for saving, all software has a Ctrl O shortcut for opening files, all software has the same file open dialogs, the shortcuts are the same, the software is intuitive to Windows users, whereas previously each software Graphical User Interface application was written in different GUI toolkits and used the mouse differently. Some had uh, a uh, pop-up menu when you pressed the middle button, not the right button, etc. Different, totally different shortcuts, different ways of exiting the application, different file open dialogs, everything was different between the most important graphical user interface applications of the year 1995. Nothing was standardized. I cannot even exit the application because closing the application is not enough. I need to use some menu. When I click on the menu, it automatically closes. So I need to keep the left mouse button pressed. Not even that is enough. Let's see if xkill can kill this process. If not, we'll kill it from the command line. And yes, xkill did the job. Great. Xane for um, scanners, acquisition of uh, images from the scanner. Instant messaging, multi-instant messaging client, email client, um, BitTorrent client, Wireshark. Let's see how this thing works. This is it. You don't have permissions. I need to be a super user. Conqueror, the old KD pre KD6 uh, file manager, PDF viewer, web browser, FTP client, everything in one. Okay, we have Calibre, which is for uh, ebook reading and ebook management. Evolution, the GNOME email client, and not only, so personal information management. Another LaTeX tool, graphical user interface one. The other one is GNU Texmach, Texmax. Starts. This is probably the Emacs operating system plus something extra. I don't really know what this thing is. Again, a productivity tool. Programming, Bluefish Editor, CVS Client, Eclipse, Emacs GUI and Emacs No X, 
Gini C++ C IDE, Integrated Development Environment, Compare KD Difference Viewer, Umbrello KD UML Tool, Caffeine KD Video Player, KD and Life KD Video Editor, probably the best video editor in Linux. Dolphin the KD File Manager. Whoa, I didn't see this thing in a while. GK R E L L M. I'm not sure how you spell this thing. There's not enough space to show all of the information because there's too many CPUs, CPU threads. Terminals, console, and probably this one, Terminator. Another file manager to NAR. The Knopix Live CD is really good for recovering installations of other operating systems, repartitioning existing hard disks, formatting, rescuing bootloaders, etc. So Gpart is one of um, the mandatory tools if you want to do rescue and partition layout changes from a live CD. Okay, in preferences we have the probably the tools of the current desktop environment, which is LXDE. The LXDE is the desktop environment that came before LXQt. LXQt is written in Qt5, LXD was written in GTK3. Okay, we have the Deb Package Manager, Graphical User Interface, Synaptic, which comes from um, Apt RPM. Let's try to run another div another desktop environment. Oh, there's even KD system settings available here. Wait. Switching desktop environments is done from the main menu, Knopix menu, and we have choose restart Knopix desktop. So LXD is by default. We're inside it. We can close this session and open a KD Plasma 5 desktop if we want. Let's do that. It says that I is going to close all of my applications because it's going to kill the X server. KD Plasma splash screen. AD Plasma panel. The other desktop environments except LXD, which is the default, so KD Plasma 5, GNOME, and um, XFC are not that um, well integrated. Have this. Um,
problem in here this um, pinned icon which will start a different KD panel icon and then clicking on discover does not open discover okay but then if we ignore these minor glitches we have the KD plasma desktop which I somehow don't recognize that well. There's the KD help available. the system settings this is pc man fm started from the kd panel which somehow feels wrong let's fix the, the issues So where is Firefox? Let's pin it. Icons only task manager. First position for Firefox, what are you? Let's pin Firefox. We don't have Kate in here. We have K right. Add to favorites. Let's remove Firefox from here. And we also need console. Make this favorited Crusader. Let's start it. Ignore how I'm configuring Crusader. I'm not actually going to use it just configuring it out of habit and the editor slash usr slash in slash he write Okay, let's pin this also. So I have Firefox and Crusader pinned and some applications favorited. Clam AV, the free software antivirus available for Linux, Windows, etc used on um, web servers and also for email servers. Install software. So this is probably a scripted tool Audacity is already installed. Why would I install it? MPV is installed and player not, but MPV is better. OBS Studio already installed. So this is probably a tool written by Klaus Knopper 10 years ago and not updated. 
in the meantime. Cancel. Stalk, no pics, no to flash disk. After you boot the live CD, no pics, it had support for using existing hard disks, such as you could have some persistence inside of a file, inside of a FAT32 partition, for instance. When you reboot the machine in live CD mode, it will remember the settings that you saved to that you did in your previous run of the live CD because the settings were saved permanently to the hard disk. IP traffic analyzer, what is this thing? Something that will not start. Okay, there's uh, Knopix Docker. Let's see what it actually did. Which root environment with symlinks. Knocker run. C group docker container D. Overlay FS, BTRFS. I'm not sure what's actually doing here. Docker.soc. It tries to enable X11 from inside the Docker. It doesn't use Docker Hub, but it tries to build from scratch, which means from the empty Docker image sets the x11 forwarding starts bin bash in there the name is docker for the container image maybe Klaus did not test this thing and it, that's why it errors out. Or maybe it's just a warning. It entered to quit. Where's the start menu? No picks. Start no picks, not in Docker, but in H root. ls minus la slash and it's very different from the real operating system which is ls minus la slash so slash new root is a top level directory Okay, and again we have the option of using accept LSDE, LXDE and KD to use the GNOME or the XFC desktop. Let's go very fast through these. I don't really know how to use GNOME.
how do we see the directories in the start menu? Maybe we don't, but hopefully restart. Where are you? Choose this thing. Choose restart no pix desktop. I somehow managed to find it. XFC. Okay. Yes. XFC is pretty much similar to how it looked like 10 years ago and even more. No pigs, go back to KD and uh, look at the still provided Knopix experiment. Which is for the Compiz. Restart 3D Desktop Compiz Fusion. I have seen Compiz like twice in my entire life. I haven't seen Compiz Fusion ever. So let's start software. The window manager is no longer KWIN, it's um, Compiz Fusion. The window decoration is from Compiz Fusion. They're surrounded um, windows. Moving the window around is very wobbly, of course. If I maximize the window, I can do this warping thing by dragging from so I click on a random place in the title bar and then I drag. Okay, it's fluid if that's the aim. Minimizing does the effect. Maximized and then minimized. Enough inside Knopix. Let's see how we can start Knopix inside a virtualization software straight from the ISO such that you don't have to write the ISO to a USB stick and boot it on, on real hardware. For this, we're going to exit the virtual machine that we're currently in. and stop the virtual machine that's running Knopix. We can do force off because it didn't touch any hard disks. Let's delete the virtual machine. Okay, and now let's see how we create a virtual machine just for the purpose of running Knopix 9.3 in live cd mode file new virtual machine forward browse and Knopix 9.3 linux magazine 0622.iso choose volume doesn't know which type of operating system it is it's probably Similar to Debian, latest, forward, let's give it a ton of, especially RAM. So I have 32 gigabytes, I'll give it at least 20 gigabytes. A ton of CPU threads. No need to create a hard disk, a virtual hard disk, we're not going to use it anyway. Let's make this no picks. Customize before install, yes. The settings are perfect. The only thing that needs to be changed is that I have just one CPU socket. Let's look at the rest of the settings are the default for the very recent um, Linux operating system. So it uses BIOS instead of UFI, the newest chipset ton of CPUs and with uh, the 
inside of the virtual machine, the same CPU is exposed as on the hardware machine. And uh, we should change in here and say that we want to boot from the SATA CD-ROM by default. It's not needed if you boot just once, but if you reboot, then the SATA CD-ROM will be emptied and you will only be able to boot in the Vertio hard disk, which doesn't really exist. Okay, Vertio disk supported by the latest version of Knopix 9.3, the fastest CD-ROM, that's important because we want speed, everything runs from the CD-ROM, network interface card, the fastest Vertio supported, tablet, and begin installation. So it supports the newest technologies that Linux operating systems use when I install them in Vert Manager. Okay, this is the boot manager. We'll need to do things in here. So it says F2 for um, options, F3 for more options, F1 to go back to where we started. So this is F1, F2 and F3. So it says that we probably want Knopix 64, not Knopix because we're using the DVD and we're using a 64-bit AMD 64X8664 CPU. So let's do that. No PIX 64. And then we don't want the German keyboard. So that's L-A-N-G. And then we need to find the equal key. So equal is shift zero and then US and then we want the screen resolution 1080p shift zero for equal 1920x1080 it boots in LXD by default. We could boot in KD if we want. Let's do that. Equals KD. So Knopix 64 for 64 bit, Lang US for non German keyboard, screen 1920 by 1080, that's 1080p, and desktop KD Plasma 5. Nothing else. I see that I could want to change. This is the way it uh, boots. It the um, virtual terminal when it when the operating system boots has always looked different in um, Knopix than other operating systems. In the year 2000 it also provided the detection of hardware. So Red Hat had Kudzu and uh, Debian had uh, Discover and I'm not sure exactly what uh, Nopix used. Probably used Kudzu even though it was Debian based from the start. Okay, we can go full screen. And here you have it, you're inside um, no picks the latest version, boot it in live CD mode, in virtual machine, virtual manager, and QMU. Runs very fast on a Linux host with a ton of CPU threads, 15, a ton of RAM, 20 gigabytes. Everything's pretty snappy. Way snappier than in the year 2001 when CD-ROMs were connecting the via ID P88. And random access memory was way slower and not enough CPU power. Let's see the version of the KDE desktop. Let's start a game such as 
key blocks go help and then about kd and then help about key blocks so it's queued 5.15.2 recent enough and kd frameworks 5.90 so this is it. This is Knopix 9.3. Knopix is the mother of live CD Linux operating systems. Thank you.